friends and strangers on the internet. It's been a minute. I have been trying to do two videos a week, but the past week or so, I've just kind of had to accept that I'm just getting one video a week out. Uh, my kids have been sick off and on. That's just a daycare life. But anyway, if you are new here, hi, I am Jen from Good Jeans Resale. I'm a part-time, trying to be full-time Poshmark reseller alongside my mom. We share a closet and that closet is called Good Jeans Resale. I have a really fun haul today I'm super excited about. There is not a Goodwill bins location close to me. So generally speaking, um, I don't get super low cost inventory, like, you know, one to two dollars all that often, unless I have the time and luck at a yard sale. But every so often there is a buy sell trade store that does a clearance sale. And I was lucky enough to be able to get childcare and have the time and freedom in my schedule um, last Saturday at Uptown Cheapskate when they were doing their fill a bag clearance sale. So I've done a fill a bag clearance sale at a different Uptown Cheapskate in South Florida before. Um, the way that the one in South Florida worked was they just filled bins. It was very, I imagine, much like the Goodwill bins. Um, they had bins outside in the parking lot and you can imagine South Florida. It was always a very, very sweaty experience. Uh, it was $20 for a bag. If you paid cash, that was it. You didn't have to pay tax on that because theirs benefited um, a charity cause. And the way I believe they said theirs worked in South Florida was that it was donations. Basically, if someone brought things in to sell and um, they passed on buying them, they had the option to have them donate it to this fill a bag and then the proceeds went to charity. So that's just kind of a background on my experience with fill a bag sales like this one. Um, I went to the Uptown Cheapskate or one of the Uptown Cheapskates near me. Theirs was operated a little bit differently. I'm very happy to say theirs was indoors. Uh, it was $25 per bag that they provided. Um, no discounts for cash because it wasn't, I believe, I don't think theirs benefited charity. Um, I filled two bags. I was one of the first people in line. Store opened at 10 o'clock. Um, there was a pretty decent line by the time the store opened. I got there about 9.30. Um, I was like the fourth or fifth person in line um, just behind like another family that was all together or they seemed like they all knew each other so I assumed that they came together. When I got in, I headed straight for the dress section and then I went from there. So really good haul. I believe I got 29 items. After tax, I paid something like 53 and change. So my cost per cost per item for cost of goods came out to about $1.85, which is some of my lowest cost items ever. I love these sales. I truly try to keep up on Instagram and follow all the buy sell trade stores in my area so that when they do things like this and I have these kinds of opportunities, I try to get out there and get that low cost inventory. So that was all the background. That's how the sale worked. Let's get into the haul. So even though I headed to dresses first, I just kind of threw the results of my two bags into this giant Ikea bag that I have down here. We've got kind of a mixed bag. See what I did there? Of different types of items. So first up, I grabbed this Petal and Pup sweater romper. I thought this was so cute. Um, I It's new with tags. I kind of wish it wasn't because that might mean that if it doesn't sell, I would feel like justified in wearing it myself. I feel like this is such a great little fall piece as it starts to get cold, but isn't super cold yet. Um, this is called their Sloan sweater romper in the color Dusty Blue. Uh, this is a small slash medium. Petal and Pup is a brand. I've only sold it once before, but I see a lot of like Instagram influencers um, promoting it pretty regularly. So I think they probably have a decent following. I think they're an Australian brand. And funnily enough, this is only the second time I've found it. And now both times have been new with tags items. Um, comps on this, I've checked some comps. Other ones, not so much. Uh, comps on this look to be in the like 30-ish range. So I am probably gonna price most of these right at comps and hope for quick sales. But I just love this. I think the color is so pretty. 
it's acrylic but it feels super soft so if no one buys it this fall and it's still in my closet next year who knows maybe i will snag it for myself at that point next up oh this was a cute find this is a vince top i've picked up vince a couple of times I think that it tends to be kind of a slow mover, but it's generally very well made. Um, so this is this cute little pink checkered checked tank top. Um, it's lined, but the outer layer is 100% silk. It's in a size small. I thought that was cute. I'm gonna try to get that listed pretty quickly for summer. I'm thinking in the like 30-ish range. I also found, and this is another one that I'm going to try to get listed very quickly for summer. I found this UMG piece in a size extra large. It's this coral pink. It's got this almost like flounce sleeve, raw edge hem on the sleeves in the bottom with these cute little triangle cutouts. It's a size extra large and it is new with tags as well. Um, I'm not sure what I'm pricing this as. That. I would think somewhere between 25 to 35. Um, it's a linen and cotton blend and it's a great size. So I hope that that flips in the summer. That's a great, great summer piece. I picked these up thinking they would be for myself. These are Abercrombie and Fitch. They are the Simone high rise ankle in a size 26 2S, which is short. Um, that is generally what I wear in Abercrombie jeans. I have a few pairs at this point because they have become some of my favorite jeans. These look like they are in really great shape, except for this very faint, I don't know if the camera's gonna pick this up. These are a white jean, obviously. I don't even know if the camera's picking that up. There is the faintest of discolorations on like the back knee area that I almost feel like might just be dust. So. I'm gonna wash these. I think it will probably come out and you know, these might take a minute to sell. They are a skinny jean, they are an ankle jean, they are a white jean. I think those are all kind of limiting factors. Skinny jeans are not super, super trendy at the moment. White jeans I think are very seasonal. I picked them up because I don't have a pair of white jeans. Um, but I think that will probably come out. They didn't fit me that well despite being my normal size. So I'm just gonna list them. For $1.85, I mean, I can make that back. Next, I also found this really cute free people top. Oh, drop that. This one is in a size medium. This is called the Speak Easy Tunic Top. I love this color. It's this like light baby blue. It has these really cute bell sleeves. Do I have that twisted? I sure do. Um, these really cute bell sleeves, this really pretty floral pattern. It's got this elastic under the bust. Whoa, my dog. And, you know, I have no intentions of getting pregnant again, but I thought this could re also just double as a maternity top for someone because it does seem like it's very flowy in the belly. So I may add some like maternity keywords to it. This one might wind up being for me. It does depend if I can get it out. So first of all, there are two things I didn't notice about this in the store. This is from Cloth and Stone, which is an anthropology brand. Um, first of all, I didn't notice that little hole where there was probably a tag at one point. This is not where the Uptown Cheapskate tag was. And secondly, it has this really faint, let's see if the camera picks up. It has this like faint discoloration right here. So I don't know. This is a size extra small. Um, they originally had this price at $25 at Uptown. So not totally shocked that um, it didn't wind up selling. Oh, the way that the sale worked was you could, you went through the racks of everything in the store and anything that had one of their little, is this picking up? There we go one of the little stamps on it, those were the items that were eligible to go in the bag. So then when you brought your bag up to the counter, they went through and made sure everything in there was something you were allowed to have in there. 
anyway this might wind up being for me if I can't get that stain out it'll just become like a cover-up dress or something to like throw on around the house after my kids have flung applesauce or various other food items on me but I am gonna try to get that out the little hole in the back might just mean I list it pretty low like below $20 um, but we'll see I don't know if that's for me or not and it might take a minute to sell these I took these out to take photographs of them these are very cute little gingham anthropology black and white shorts love them in a size 26 um, again two things that I didn't notice in the store one so the closure is a zipper and a hook primarily but it's one of the ones where there also is supposed to be a button on the inside so that button is missing I might try and fix that I don't know if my like novice sewing skills I want to take that on but I am contemplating trying to fix that or just sell it as is and then there this concerning stain that I didn't notice until I had them up to photograph them and it is right here in a very suspicious area so I'm gonna be spending some time trying to get that out hopefully I can if not again that's kind of the size I wear so maybe I'll wear them I don't know the stain is the stains weird and weird to me I'm not gonna pretend like it's not Anyway, this is a really cute, I usually, I talked about this in my bread and butter brands video. Um, I try to stick to newer tag Athleta when I'm in, when I come across it in the thrift store, I pass on it a lot of times, but I guess that we can call this bins rules. We'll call it fill a bag rules for $1.85. I did pick up this Athleta shirt dress. It's in this like heathered gray and black. Uh, with an asymmetric hem. I think that this was called the downtown dress. So I'm going to price this at like $25 and see how it does. Super comfy. Yes, of course, I did try that on. Um, this one has very surprising to me comps. So I typically pass on Loft anytime I come across it in the thrift store. Uh, I have some things of my own from Loft listed. They have sold for very little for the most part except this month I did sell a loft wide leg jumpsuit for about $31 um, and this particular jumpsuit from loft it's their loft beach line it has this really cute like floral boho kind of pattern on it this had comps granted the majority of comps I found for this were new with tag but in the $50 range for loft yeah, so I mean, I picked that up. It's a wide leg jumpsuit. I'm gonna list that quickly as well because a beach line, we're in the dead of summer right now. So I think I'm gonna price that around 35, similar to the jumpsuit that I just sold and see how it does. I mean, I've got it. I'm hanging on to it. I'm gonna list it. I think it will sell eventually. It just might determine um, how much I want to pick up loft in the future if that does well maybe I'll think about it a little bit more this little kimchi blue urban outfitters brand kimchi blue and urban outfitters brand it's this little blue crushed velvet like cropped tank I just thought this was cute and I kind of got to a point in the sale where I knew I was doing two bags and I thought this is going to take up very little room. I might as well maximize the amount of stuff that I'm getting. I do want it to be things I think I can sell, but I don't have to be so super selective. I'm locked into this price. Let's try to get as much into this bag as I can um, so that my cost per item is pretty decent. So that's in a size extra small. I think I'm just going to price it between probably at like $15 and see how it does there. Um, this was my first time picking up this brand. I actually just started watching the documentary about it. This is Brandy Melville, which if you are not familiar with Brandy Melville, their items are one size and that size is like extra small to small. I picked this up because it's got the animal print to it. 
and it's like a baby tee, it's button up. I believe these are all functional buttons. Short sleeve. I'm gonna price that pretty low as well, probably like 15 bucks um, based on the comps that I've found so far. Um, let's see, this is probably my best find from the sale. This is this really beautiful like satin slip dress. It's got a cowl neck. I'm not sure if you would call this green or yellow, um, but it is from the brand Bardo and it's in a size US 6. Um, I forget exactly what this dress was called, Sharni or something to that effect. It's in very good condition. The only thing that I need to disclose is this very small pinprick right here where um, Uptown had their security tag on it. Bardot is a Revolve brand. Comps on this dress I found um, to be around like the $40 to $60 range. I'm honestly going to price it at $75 and, you know, be willing to accept offers, um, be willing to send offers and just see, kind of see how it does from there. But this dress could very well pay for everything in these bags. Next, I found this cute little, I actually, I'm realizing I picked up a fair amount of velvet, um, but this is this really cute, intimately free people top, high neck, kind of got this racer back quality. Um, this is in a size small, question mark, size small. And it's this pretty like kind of sage green color. This one I haven't checked comps on yet. I do plan to run this one through the wash. It has like on the back of the neck here, it kind of looks like someone had, you know, suntan lotion, makeup of some kind on the back of their neck. Um, so I'm gonna see if I can get that out before I list it. Next I found, this is also so cute. This is Zara Knit, so it's 100% cotton. I haven't come across Zara Knit before. Um, in a size small, it's this loose knit crocheted, very beachy, boho, coastal top. I will probably price this around 20 bucks and see how that does. Um, this cute, it's like a cute tank. You could maybe wear it as like a bikini cover up with a pair of shorts underneath for the bottoms. I thought that was really cute. That's kind of a style pickup. Um, I really, I used to pick up a decent amount of Zara. I have really, really slowed down on picking up Zara. I pass on almost everything, but that, it, this is a little bit of a bulkier item, but that did kind of fall into the category of I'm going through the store again because I have started to fill up a second bag and I don't want to put these other things back. This I thought was adorable. ASOS does not go for big money unless you get like a dress that, you know, has a lot of beading or something to that effect. But I do really like selling ASOS. I think their pieces are really cute even though they're very fast fashion. Um, so this is a ASOS swim piece. It's a beach cover up. It has these really cute rope straps and this blue and white stripe pattern. This is a US 8. I just thought this was so cute. Very nautical, sailor, preppy, yacht club, that whole kind of vibe. Um, again, gonna try to list that really quickly considering it's a swim cover up and I would love to sell it in the summer and not hold on to it for another year. Okay, we've also got, this is a Madewell bodysuit and it is new with tags. I don't really pick up bodysuits very often. Um, the standouts have been the ones that are new with tags. They still have the hygienic liner, um, so I don't think they're as hard of a sell. Um, what was this one called? It's the velvet, obviously um blush pink even though i think this kind of has like a tan neutral quality to it i believe it's a pink color um and an extra small velvet wrap but long sleeve bodysuit i think this was called and it's got this v-neck and again you know brand new with tags still has the liner on it uh 
Um, so I think I'm going to price that one around 30. I made well is another one that I am not picking that much up. I passed on quite a bit of Madewell at this sale, but I did not pass on this one. This is a Madewell t-shirt dress. This I think I'm going to throw in the wash. It has these like hanger or marks. If this doesn't come out, this is super, it seems just super comfy. It's just a basic black shirt dress in a size small. I'm going to throw it in the wash and see if that kind of discoloration comes out. If not, again, another thing I can bum around my house in and feel like, oh, I got dressed today, but I'm still super comfortable. This one is definitely just for me. This is going to be my Thanksgiving shirt. And if you know, you know. Okay, next up, I found this really cute Abercrombie dress in a size medium. This is just kind of a tan, neutral, ribbed midi sweater dress. It has a very cute slit. And to me, this was very like, you know, clean girl aesthetic, um, neutral, beige girl, all those kinds of keywords. And it is just kind of a very versatile piece in a size medium. So I decided to grab that. I have not sold much Abercrombie. Um, and I typically don't find it at a price point that I wanted to try selling more of it. Uh, so for $1.85, yes, I decided we were going to try that out. This is another new with tags piece. This is, this is a Target collab. So this was from the designer Kushni um, in a size 8. And so that was her Target collab. It's this strapless, very similar color to that Bardot dress, which makes me wonder if it was donated by, or not donated, sold by the same person originally. Strapless, like neon, yellow, green color. The color's technically called lime green per the tag, but to me, this is like a highlighter yellow. Just cute. I mean, I've sold quite a few of the Target collab dresses. I have just had them in my own closet. Um, I really have not found them at a price point before that I wanted to try flipping them, but new with tags, $1.85. I think I'm going to price this around like $25 to $30 and see how we do there. Another little free people piece. This is just a cute romper. What was this called? Um, right as ruffles or something like that anyway it has this faux wrap detailing <laughs> let me show you this it has this faux wrap detailing v-neck really cute little boho bell sleeve the back has these fun button details the catch here is that this was missing a size tag i think that this is a small but i do include measurements on all of my listings these days I have to go back through all of my old inventory and add that, but I'm estimating this is a small. I'm gonna refer uh, buyers to the measurements. I'll probably list that around $25. This was a pretty decent find. I would say that this is probably, after that Bardot dress, I think this is the item I expect to make the most profit off of. This is the Buy Anthropology line from Anthropology in a size extra small. This is their Brigitte Jacquard sheath dress and it is in this really fun orange tiger print, high neck, sleeveless, just so cute and has this like metallic Lurex in it. Can you catch that? So cute, so cute. And this is another item that I think would be really cute for fall. It's that like beautiful like rust orange color so I hope that someone manages to snag that for a fall. Because can you picture this with all of the leaves changing? That would just be so cute. Then I picked up this Theory shirt. This is just a very basic tee. This was in the women's section. It's a medium, but to me this looks like a large medium. I kind of think this is a men's shirt. Um, and it does have, what I like about Theory, I don't find it very often, 
but Newer Theory does have their style name inside the tag. Um, so this is called the Clean Tea Serena Slub, and it is 100% Pima cotton, just a really nice basic. I kind of expect this to go in the like $30 range. Granted, that is dependent on whether this is a men's or women's piece. I have to look that up. This one I have not looked up yet, but this is another kind of basic tee, but I just thought this was cute. This is a little J. Crew camo tee in a size medium. It does have a, it also has a little staining that I did not notice in the store. And probably because it is that camo print. Um, but I'm going to try and get that out and we'll see how we do after that. I don't expect big money on this. Uh, it's just a very basic tee, but most of the things I found, I think are going to be like great bread and butter items. Sales have been slow, very, very slow. So I'm hoping that with an infusion of inventory that we pick things back up. Next, I've got this adorable and this might be for me but i don't know for sure yet this adorable pilcro which is an anthropology brand it used to just be pilcro in the letterpress but i think it is only pilcro now um so i think that is probably their newer tag because it's not pilcro in the letterpress anymore does that make sense i don't know anyway this is this really cute halter top it's ribbed, it's got this kind of heathered, marled texturing to it um, in this really fun like lavender purple color that I love. And it's kind of got a Henley quality, it has these cute little textured buttons. Can you see the detailing on the metal there? This in a size small. I am probably gonna try this on for myself if I can find a bralette in my room. I haven't found my bralette since I moved because I do know that if I have to wear a strapless bra, I will never ever wear this. If I sell this, I'll probably list it in the like 25 to 30 range. These last, these two men's shirts that I'm about to show you were, so I waited in line to pay for over an hour. And while I was waiting to pay, I was standing in the men's section. So I did just kind of grab two more things cause I had these bags and I thought these are gonna fit in here. So let's get them. This is this men's chaps short sleeved button up. I am going to list this, but I also think I'm going to see if my husband wants to wear it. If we have any reason for him to wear it, it's got the chaps logo on the pocket. It's button up. It's a size small, but it looks like a pretty big small to me. So I would say it would fit more of a men's medium, which is, for the most part, what he seems to wear these days. Just kind of cute. It's a shame 4th of July already passed because that would have been perfect for that. I also threw this in. This is probably just gonna go to my father-in-law because it does have a hole that I didn't catch until I was home. And it also has these kinds of discolorations that we'll have to see if these come out. But I'll give this to my father-in-law as like a work shirt for, um, the family cabin if he wants it. This is a Polo Ralph Lauren, double XL green, just tea. Um, we're gonna see if that comes out. If it doesn't, I'm not gonna bother listing it um, and I will just give it to him to take up to the cabin to bum around up there and got two more here, I think. Yeah, it looks like just two. This one, again, I, I saw this when I was just standing in line this is a really cute, this is the back actually. This is a really cute free people skirt. Camo, I don't expect big money on this, 20 to 25 probably. It's in a size eight zipper closure, but it's in really good condition. Um, I think someone probably put this back last minute uh, because I had passed through that section and I didn't see it before then. A lot of people were there just shopping for themselves and they were doing the really smart thing um, since the fitting rooms were closed, they had like bike shorts or like a athletic onesie on so that they could still kind of try stuff on. So that's my guess what happened with this or, you know, a reseller that had enough or, you know, it didn't fit their business model or their target profits. Um, at any rate, I had the extra room in my bag. I had a good half hour left in line. So I threw that in one of my bags.
And finally, this is another one that I didn't think I was going to have to do work on. You know, that just happens sometimes. You check stuff over in certain lighting and then you get it home in different lighting and you find out you were mistaken. But this is Mango Suit. I actually have not checked comps on this, but I just really could not pass this up. This is a dress, I believe. I thought it was a jumpsuit at first, but this is a dress and it does have a fair amount of staining that I did not catch in the store, which I'm really disappointed about. Um, but it also has this adorable pattern with these like strawberries on it. There are these little bumblebees. Uh, it's got this tie v-neck. It's this beautiful blue color. I think this is size medium, US 6, but Europe medium. And yeah, I am so disappointed that I didn't notice the staining because it is considerable. Um, I am going to do some work on this and hope that I can get at least some of it out. You see where it is there. And you see that there as well. Um, I'm going to do a good amount of work on this. And then I'll have to see. I have not checked comps on this. I just knew that I couldn't leave it there. I thought it was too cute. Um, and we'll see. It's going to depend on whether I can get some stains out or not, what I decide to price it at. Um, but yeah, that is it. Uh, wow, I have been trying to get this filmed for days now, uh, and it only took me a half hour. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I really encourage you to try to get um, on your local buy, sell, trade stores email list, follow them on Instagram so that when you have opportunities like this or like your local Plato's Closet, if you don't have an uptown cheapskate, a lot of times they do end of season clearance sales and you can get decent bread and butter items that, and you can get decent bread and butter items that, um, sheesh, and you can get decent bread and butter items for a pretty low cost of goods. And if you're like me and you don't have a bins that's that accessible, or if you're also like me and the bins totally intimidates you, I have never been, um, then this is a, I feel like less pressure way to get that low cost inventory. So that's it for me today. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I realistically probably will not be able to get another video out this week. I do have a couple of shorts that I put up this week. One was from an, a different Uptown Cheapskate where I did their like dollar days sale. Um, and another one is some estate sale finds. So if you're into that kind of short form content, very like TikTok-y, uh, please go check those out and give them a like. If you liked this video, please give me a thumbs up there as well. And let me know, have you ever attended any kind of a fill a bag sale? I've heard of garage sales doing that before but I've never seen a garage sale that does a fill a bag. Let me know in the comments. I would love to hear from you guys and thank you so much for spending part of your day with me. I will see you in my next one. Bye.